Hello there, my favourite people. Today, we're going to be looking at the other end of what we uh, yesterday's video was about, which was receiving serial messages in Macs sent from Arduino. So yesterday, if you've not watched it, I'll link the video somewhere around here. So go and check it out because it'll be helpful to know. What we're going to move on today, today we're going to reverse the whole process. And instead of receiving in Macs, we're going to send in Macs to messages in Arduino. So we can get rid of these. And we're going to start my new Max patch here. So continuing, I already know that I'm on port B and I'm using, going to use 9600 baud. Let me bring this in again. And just to double check, it's all set up. If I print into that, I can see that on port B is my USB modem 1421, which is my Arduino board. So I can get rid of that. Now, yesterday we had a Metro plugged in which was banging our serial port to, to flush out any information that may have been there. But this time, what we're going to do is all we're going to do is bang information onto the serial port. And to do that, we just simply send out a message. So let's send it the value. Let's do an integer. So now I can send a string of values. But what does that actually look like in Arduino? because that is technically up and running already. What we can do to check that is if we look at the serial reference, we will see this print status and pop up one. And what this is going to tell us, it's going to tell us whether our messages have been sent or not properly. So by scrolling up and down, we'll see that we get a status of write one. And what that means is that we have written one thing to the serial port. In the same way that space was a universal recognizer uh, coming into Max, it's also the same going out. So when I do 50, space 50, and write that, you'll see that we've written two, because we've actually written two messages there. Let's get into Arduino and have a look at what we need to do here. So if you remember the code from yesterday, it was all done using the serial.print command. We're not printing to the serial today. Today all the work's going to come from the serial.read Let's quickly write our Arduino program. First thing I'm going to do is set up my constant. On my Arduino board today, I literally have nothing plugged in. I'm just going to make use of the built-in LED, which we know is attached to pin 13 on my uh, 13 for board LED on Uno. And then all I'm going to need is one variable that I'm going to call int value. And that's it, that's the only value we're going to need. In setup, we're going to, uh, we're just going to have pin mode LED output. So I'm, I'm going to say that I can write to the, the LED on the board. And then we're going to open the serial port for reading. I'm going to have serial.begin9600 because that's that's the refresh rate we're using. In our loop, this is where it looks a bit different than it did yesterday. Instead of just printing to the serial port, what we're going to do, we're going to check to see if the serial port if it has data on it. Serial.available brackets. And what this does is it checks to see if there is information on the serial port or not because it can be quite an in, uh, a resource hog if you're telling it to look for information that's just never going to arrive. All we need to do is I need to set my value as equal to serial.read. Every time that it reads from the serial port, it will then remove that chunk from it. What we could also do is we could do something like serial.peak which will allow us to look at it, but will not remove it from the serial so that you can sort of gate and flow data depending on what's coming through. But for now, if I do value equals serial.read and then do serial.print ln value, check it, upload it, and then send my value into Arduino have a look at my serial port, 
you can see I've got a string of the information coming in here. And that's it, we've sent data successfully into Arduino. To make it a bit more fancy, what we can do is we can control our LED straight away using this. So an LED, an LED is either on or off, one or zero. So if we do digital right, LED, and then our value, what this will do is it will turn on pin 13 depending on what the value is here. If it's one, it'll turn on. If it's zero, it'll turn off. So if I compile that, upload it, and instead of an, in bo uh, an integer box here, do a toggle, which as we know, either sends a one or a zero, you can control the LED on your board as simple as that. Where can we go from here? What sort of things can be done with this? So here is a piece of work that I created in the past using DMX stage light and max. So this is a, a library called DMX simple to upload to lights externally. But if you look at what a DMX light is, is it's almost like any external Arduino board. It has lots of channels that you, you send information to. We can create complex max patches that look like this. So this is my presentation board. This is what I actually used for the project. But I was able to control the light that went to it, how bright it was, and then even had a test for the LED. And it all went through the serial port here by packing up loads of messages separated by space, receiving them in here. So every time it reads it, it removes it. So brightness was the first one, read red was the second, green was the third, and blue was the last one. So every time it sent four chunks, it would break it down. So this took chunk one, that took chunk two, three, and four, etc. So that's just a quick look at how to send information from Max to Arduino using the serial port and a practical example of what it can actually be used for.